Hello, my name is Voya and welcome to my deep guide. Today it's going to be a correction video or an attempt to do so because last time when I was actually testing out the offline capabilities and how far can you go in fully offline, true offline mode, um, Remarkable 2 didn't fare well as in I wasn't able to actually establish a USB over IP connection with Remarkable. Now, since then a few users actually said, well, actually that works for me. So I wanted to investigate further and see what did I muck up? Because obviously if it works for other people, then it functions and I did something wrong. So I did a little bit of digging up and I kind of nailed it down that I believe that my firewall was the issue because I used the firewall rules to actually block off internet connection. But I think it was way too strict and it probably blocked off the IP connection to Remarkable somehow. It shouldn't have, but it did. This time I I did it differently, so let's check it out and see what we get. This time I am not using any firewalls or anything like that. Instead, I yanked out the uh, Ethernet cable from my PC, so I am most definitely offline. And um, yeah, I'm trying to prevent the situation that was before, which I suspect was that my firewall was way too aggressive and it did not permit the uh, connection to the Remarkable because a lot of people actually said like, hey, that actually should have worked. So I am redoing it now and hopefully it should work. Uh, what I wanna do now is I want to turn the Wi-Fi off so that we are offline. Uh, storage is, yeah, USB web interface is on. And now I can go into the browser, type in the 10.11.99.1, and hopefully, this time hopefully we should get something. There we go, all right. So it's taking quite a while. Uh, for whatever reason, it's really, really slow, but the connection is there. So that's really, really good. Now, I just wanna double check uh, the things that we tested out on other devices. So let's just uh, put it to the side here and let's see, can we grab a notebook from this interface? Now, as you can see, it's really, really slow, but Hopefully it functions. So let's go my deep guide, notebooks. That's my number one thing is when in offline mode, can I get my notebooks off the device? So let's say I can um, download. So what is this? Lines data set, all right. So let's do this and then download. All right, so we can, so he wants to save it and I'm gonna save it into um, desktop, yeah. Definitely, uh, this is downloaded and now I can go into documents. All right, so maybe I can select this and download. here and I guess it's downloading and it is downloaded so yes we are able to download be albeit somewhat slowly but you are able to download unfortunately you are not able to uh, manage your folder structure but you can do that on the device itself so you still have the full-on functionality even though it has to be done on the device itself. Once you actually do access it like this, then it works. And let's try and get, uh, let's go to documents. But the speed is really, really slow. I mean, this is just entering a, a new folder. So it's a little bit too slow for my taste, but it works, it functions. All right, so now let's try and drag and drop up. Yeah, Kevin Hobbs, 191 megabyte file. Um, just to kind of double check, maybe that will work properly. So let's go here. 
I don't know. Oh yeah, I forgot that uh, you don't get any indication here. So I don't know what's actually going on. So I'm going to leave it for a while <laughs> and come back to it. And uh, yeah, hopefully it will be um, uploaded or something like that. However, the main thing that I wanted to test out was the ability and the functionality um, in offline mode. And yes, you can, you definitely can work offline with the Remarkable 2 albeit very, very slowly and very, very limited. So still the worst performing of the uh, bunch, but at least you do have that functionality there. All right, so the good news is that you definitely can establish a connection with the Remarkable 2 when in offline mode, truly offline mode, so that your PC is offline and that your device is offline. However, there are some caveats and I couldn't get it to work perfectly, as in, I couldn't get the files onto the device, regardless of the file size, because after the recording was done, I kept doing it for another hour or so, and I tried even with like 800 kilobyte files and everything like that, and simply no go. Then I disconnected, connected again, established a connection, no go. Even when I actually went online and everything was online, it was no go. So for whatever reason, at the moment, I am unable to uh, get the files onto the Remarkable 2 in the USB over IP mode. However, I am able to get my uh, notes. As you've seen, we were able to actually get the uh, downloaded notes as PDF formats, which is great in true offline mode. And I was able to get the documents off the device uh, as well as PDFs. One thing that I noticed though, is that the interface is extremely slow when in offline mode. As soon as I actually turned the Wi-Fi on on the Remarkable 2, everything kind of sped up. So in online mode, then it's very instantaneous, very fast and everything nice. In offline mode, it's doing that constant thinking of some sort, uh, but it does get there eventually. So yeah, it's definitely better than the initial test. So I'm glad that I've done it, definitely. And thank you for uh, getting my attention to that so that I can correct stuff that I mess up. But I'm not that happy that I can't get the documents onto my device in an offline mode. So the conclusion of the test, or the original test, unfortunately stands and the Remarkable 2 remains as the most problematic performer as far as the offline functionalities go. However, much better than initial test revealed. I'm quite interested to hear from you guys if you are able to get the documents onto your Remarkable 2 uh, via the USB over IP mode. So are you able to drag and drop a PDF of whatever size in an offline mode and to get it to work so that I can see like what could possibly be wrong and why I'm not able to do that. So that's something that I would be interested to hear. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for getting my attention to correct this muck up that I did. Sorry about that. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe. Stay safe, stay healthy and see you in the next video. Bye.